at noon, we probably got our most watchable noon game. Now, it doesn't have any ranked teams in it, but it is playoff relevant. Um, Wisconsin is 3-2, and two, and they're traveling to a Rutgers team that is 4-1. Rutgers favored by 1.5 points on the Big Ten Network. Brayden Locke has gone 46-83, thrown for 664 yards, 5 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Tawee Walker has had 57 carries for 241 yards and 6 touchdowns. And Vinny Anthony II has had 9 catches for 206 yards and 2 touchdowns. Ethan Kalik Manis has gone 74-133, thrown for 947 yards, 8 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Kyle Mononga has had 116 carries for 667 yards and 6 touchdowns. And Dimir Miller has had 17 catches for 262 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Wisconsin's 5-0 against Rutgers all-time from 2014 to 2023. They've dominated the Scarlet Knights. No one-possession games. Wisconsin has been the much better team every single time they've played Rutgers. I don't know if that's the case here. Rutgers is coming off a rough loss. I will, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That game against Nebraska was rough to watch. It was a 14-7 affair in which they came off the losing end of. Uh, it's not like Nebraska killed it offensively. You, you had opportunities and you just didn't convert if you were a Scarlet Knight fan. It's got to be frustrating. Um, but that was always going to be a hard game to win. Going on the road to a good Nebraska team. That is a good Nebraska team. I'm so, They should be top 25. Um, I'll be so for real for with you right now. Absolutely deserve it over Michigan. I'm sorry. We're at, I don't think we're at the point of the year yet. We should have two lost teams in the top 25. We, just, we shouldn't. I understand it's hard to go from top 10 to out of the top 25. Um, but that's absolutely what should have happened. There are teams like Nebraska and Army and Navy and teams like Arizona State or Virginia that are, like, really slept on in one-loss football teams. One-loss football team should be in the top 25 over a two-loss football team. Texas Tech is ridiculously slept on. West Washington State is one losses to a really good Boise State team. Like, there are plenty of one-loss teams. Even, even Rutgers should be in over, over Michigan. It is ridiculous that Michigan is still a top 25 football team. Um, but that's a, that's a different point. Rutgers is actually a pretty solid football team. I understand that if they won this week, probably a top 25 football team. But because they would have been undefeated, they didn't win. Um, they are a one-loss football team. Uh, they're playing a Wisconsin team that is three and two, but those two losses have really shown a lot, right? I understand there were two really pretty solid football teams. Like USC is a good football team. Um, Alabama is a good football team, but like they just have not shown a lot offensively. I understand they just destroyed Purdue, but Purdue might be the worst team in the Big Ten. It's either them or UCLA. Um, so it's not exactly like a lot of confidence in Scotty. Braden Locke is not a great QB. Um, Ethan Kelly McManus, I'm not going to do just absolute insane things about him. We only put up seven points against Nebraska, but Nebraska has a solid defense. Um, I think this could be low scoring. I think there's a reason why Rutgers is favored. Um, I, I like Rutgers here. I like Rutgers to win and cover at home.